morning. Panic of the everyday. I don't want your man in the way. Ages, I need these eyes alone. Fostered my self righteous way. Age. I think when it comes to money, like just deciding to spend it is a choice and with that comes like the thought process of making those choices. I didn't have a clear sense of purpose that would enable me to focus on getting out of debt. I can't wait to dive into the conversation. How have I had an opportunity to bring an income? Hey guys, welcome back. So today I figured I would just sort of, I don't know, vlog around and kind of like show you what a productive day looks like in my life. I don't know, I took a day off today from work. I was participating in a Zoom panel with the financial diet, so that was really cool. I was really nervous, like my armpits were sweating, my boobs were sweating. I always get boob sweat here first. So, but it was a really great discussion and just like an awesome day. And then I, I had some other things planned today. So I thought I would just show you like what a day looks like in my life. And today's video is sponsored by Thrive Gut Health. So a couple of weeks ago, Jeff and I took their at home gut health test kit. So this is what the kit looks like. There is a spot where you collect the sample and then postage thing to send it off with. It looks really cute, but yes, but they do require something very personal from you as a sample. Jeff's just taking his test right now. How's it yeah. going? <laughs> How's it going in there? Making the pass. <laughs> They'll assess it and kind of give you recommendations on your gut health. So whether it be diet, probiotics, things like that. I think there's a lot about gut health that we are still learning about, especially even in a clinical sense, like I'm a pharmacist and um, I just think it's super interesting and whether you're having things like food intolerances or just sort of want to optimize your diet. I'm pretty squeamish and it wasn't bad at all. It's really quick, really easy. You just collect your sample, you send it off and then they just give you a special code and they'll email you your results. So I think towards the end of the vlog, I'll show you what our results were. See what's going on in there, you know? By the way, I wanted to specify that just because I'm gonna be sharing a productive day in my life doesn't mean that you need to be doing the same thing. It doesn't mean that whatever works for me works for you. I've definitely worked myself to burnout and cooking myself to a crisp many times before. There's just as much value in being a potato and vegging out as there is in getting all the things on your to-do list checked off. I hope I can share a little bit of a decent balance of that. So I had a really cool morning. I was on a Zoom panel conference. I wish I talked about it on my channel previously, but it's kind of hard for me to pump out more than one video a week right now with my full-time job still, so. But it was really cool. It was all about mindful spending and just strategies to recognize how to be more mindful when it comes to your spending and how to actually do that in a way that is like gentle and kind and honoring yourself and your values. So it was really cool. I did it with Taylor L.C. Morrison. She is the founder of The Inner Workout and she has a really great podcast. And I found her approach to mindful spending is basically like, it's kind of what I feel like I was missing, especially at the beginning of my debt-free journey and figuring out my shopping habits and stuff like that. So I will leave all her information down below. She just offers a lot of really great tools for you to keep self-compassion and your values in mind and aligned with your spending and your goals and like making sure you meet up with your future self in a place that you want it to be. So I thought it was really great. She's just, I don't know, she's a badass. It was really cool. Bye. So I can talk to you guys a little bit more about the budget in this video if you want to see because uh, later this afternoon I'm going to go for a massage because I've been having a lot of 
like painful tension in my shoulders and my neck. I think it's from sitting a lot of the time at work and from editing all day. It makes me tired because it's so, because there's so much tension in my shoulders. So every once in a while I do allocate funds in my budget for a massage. So that's something that I actually didn't plan for in the month of October. And normally in the past, I would really punish myself for doing that. But at, at this point now, um, especially as I'm just trying to be more mindful and self-compassionate, like, you know, my shoulder hurts and this costs money and I don't have any more benefits for massage. So I'm going to invest in myself in something I know helps me, that makes me feel better. So that to me is an okay, like, it's an okay balance when it comes to stuff versus investing in my health and my personal care, things like that. So that's just the way I see it right now. I think it's a lot better that I'm not, you know, beating myself up over it. Just to show you where I was coming from, from that budgeting perspective. Just at my massage, let's put the mask on. This one's from Maritzia, it's pretty cute. I'm gonna go get my neck sorted. Okay, so just finished my massage with Filippo. Um, I am really sore. We had like worked a lot of my like neck and shoulders. So my posture is really bad and I always get a lot of tension like in this area. Much needed. I'm gonna go home now, have something to eat and I'll check back with you guys later. Pilates Zoom every Sunday. I've been doing that pretty much since quarantine started and I really love it. So for me, exercise, even though it's something that I feel like I sacrifice sometimes in the name of productivity, it actually, if I take that time away from work and give it back to myself and do that exercise and do that movement and do that work a little bit, it, it translates into better work later. For me, it's huge. Um, and it just makes me feel good. So we basically found out that I have about 27 different food intolerances, mostly cheese and pie, which I feel is very rude. And Jeff, uh, what, what were your foods to avoid? Zero foods to avoid, but I mean, you know, I'm not gonna go crazy. Just, I can have a pie once in a while, yeah. it's okay. Jeff's allowed to have pie, I, I apparently can't. This to me is actually insane because it was pretty bang on for me, like anxiety and skin inflammation, some bad sleep. But everything else is pretty, pretty bang on. Yeah. Yeah, some, you know, some anxiety, poor sleep here and there. Pretty, pretty fascinating, yeah. still is, yeah. I had no idea that, um, that like your gut could tell you so much. It's also saying cut the video. <laughs> okay, so I think I'll end the vlog there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of getting a glimpse into what a day, weekend in my life looks like that is semi on the productive side. But like I said, there's nothing to glorify about being busy. Rest is just as important as getting all the things done. And thanks again to Thrive for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you guys wanna try the kit yourself and even get some recommendations on personalized probiotics based on your own gut flora, I will leave everything linked down below. They also gave me the code STYLE to save $10 off so you can check it out if you're interested. I'm really curious. It gave me a lot of good ideas on what I can add to my next grocery list. So maybe we'll do a grocery and budget video. I think this will really help Thank you guys again for watching and all your support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.